This all started last night when we were first contacted to ask for help because they had to go in and seize the horses this morning at 11. We agreed to go and this is what we've now got, two more horses. It was the national police and the local police. There were actually over 11 police involved in this rescue plus a vet. This is how committed the police force was to saving these animals. But, as I say, they need places like our rescue centre to house these animals. Now, we already have 110 horses, ponies and donkeys living here. If we'd have said no, these two horses would have still been in that hellhole with no food or water. This is the reality of where we are now in Spain. It isn't that we actually go out looking for these animals to put here. We are called out continually now, nearly every week, by the police to pick up yet another animal that's either been thrown out on the street or they've found locked away in a hellhole. And this is why we need all the help and support that we can get to continue to do our work and to ensure that we never ever have to say no to animals like this because they need us.